Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing red with gold and weighing 121 pounds. In 1988, he captured Olympic gold. And now, as a professional, he has a record of 32 victories, including 18 knockouts. He has three defeats with one draw. Ladies and gentlemen, from Memphis, Tennessee, here is the WBO number three ranked challenger in the world, former two-time world champion, Kennedy King McKinney. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white, trimmed with red. His weight, 122 pounds. His professional record, an outstanding 44 victories with 26 knockouts and only two losses. From Brooklyn, New York, presenting the two-time world champion and reigning WBO junior featherweight champion of the world, Carson Junior Jones. Kennedy Junior. Kennedy Junior, the boxer for the WBO Super Bantamweight Championship of the World. I expect a clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Shake hands. Come out boxing at the bell. Good luck. 12 rounds. This is the 27th birthday of Junior Jones. He says it will be a birthday bash, and Kennedy McKinney apparently doesn't want to be a part of that birthday bash, the way he turned his back to Jones. May the better basher win. First strange piece of body language for the evening. Rest assured, it will not be the last. I've never seen it. Never seen it. Well, hey, every time we do a box card, George, we see something we haven't seen before, and there it was. Kennedy McKinney turning his back on birthday boy Junior Jones during the referee's instructions. Unusually long stretch of inactivity for Jones coming into the fight. Hasn't fought since his second victory over Marco Antonio Barrera this past April. He had surgery on his right hand shortly after that fight to repair bone spurs around the metacarpal. He says it's fine now. We'll watch to see if he throws the right hand with conviction. Junior Jones started already asserting his left jab to the body, which is good for your lighter weight. Get some body punching in. Something has already damaged Jones, and there it is. Blood on the cheekbone or from the nose. I believe Junior felt he was butted by Kennedy McKinney, and there's blood under the right eye of Junior Jones. The good thing about it is not over the eye. damage his vision because it's not over the eye. Nevertheless, bound to be a distraction. Cut man Al Gavin in Junior Jones' corner. One of the very best. Hard left hook up top by Junior Jones after a straight right hand lead to the body. the butt on tape for a replay and we're going to be able to show it to you between rounds our tape editors telling us definitely a headbutt that caused the cut on junior jones's right cheek against Riddick Bowe, July 11, 1996. I believe I may have seen blood coming from McKinney's mouth already, so this has the makings of a very bloody brawl. McKinney digging hard to the body with the right hand in the clinch. as they separated. Jones hit him with a left hook. And both fighters varying from their textbook styles already, apparently because they don't like each other. 
The thing about Junior Jones, he's the best fighter in the world, but he's always getting the best boxer in the world, but he's always getting into fights. So we'll follow the progress of Junior Jones's cut right cheek. Here's Al Gavin going to work with the cotton. Yeah. Yeah. Here we can see it very early in the round. Right there. As you saw McKinney rub up against the cheek of Junior Jones. Didn't look like all that hard a butt at first, but obviously that's misleading as open day gash right there on the cheekbone. I need, I need that jab more, baby. You know, don't, don't load up. You know, just like I said, box, box box this guy, man. He'll run right into it, but you got to box him, though, okay? The okay. no way to make him pay for it, double up on the jab, turn the shots underneath, okay? Come out, please. Come out, please. Come out, please. Come out, box coincidence number one. By punch that numbers, both men threw 32 jabs in the first round. Both men landed seven. Both men were swinging wildly at the end of the round. And Junior Jones comes out, the aggressor to begin round two. Two hard left hooks by Junior Jones. Drive McKinney backward. Jones got away with a low blow. No sooner, sooner did his trainer Brooks, Tommy Brooks, tell him to box and, and be patient. And <laughs> Junior Jones went out there and just tore into McKinney. You know that under the eye on that cheekbone is not an important position for a cut in a boxing match so your fighter will not concern himself if his corner does not get overly concerned so junior jones is turning pure fighter tonight squaring his shoulders up as he drives mckinney into the corner he's going to leave mckinney with some opportunities to land if he stands like that hard right hand over the top by junior jones good right hand by mckinney and McKinney stops Jones's onslaught with that right hand buster. Now Junior Jones would like to get McKinney to follow him a bit so he can establish that stiff left jab. The outstanding trainer, Tommy Brooks, who uh, took over Junior Jones's training duties after his original trainer Joey Sariello passed away a year and a half ago may scorch his fighter between rounds because he wants him to box and Junior's been brawling but now Jones starts to get back into the envelope up, Junior. with his jab and his left hook to the body good overhand right by McKinney it seems that he's everything is planned on stepping to Junior Jones left side and throwing that overhand right well, everybody who's ever been in with Kenny McKinney will tell you that he has a major league right hand. He's got to get past Jones's jab to land it tonight. Jones with another left hook landing flush on the cheekbone of McKinney. Crowd likes the fireworks they're getting in round two. Junior Jones is showing strength this time. Now. He also pushes McKinney back. Jones telling us yesterday, I'm the strongest fighter in this weight class. I can overpower him. That's what a seasoned veteran, veteran is able to do. You throw 10, 15 punches, take your time, get back, suck up, get some new fresh air. Jones just a little short with the right hand lead over the top. and furious pace through the first two rounds of Jones McKinney. Garden officials expecting a crowd of more than 10,000 here tonight. The right hand, okay? No problem, no, no, no pain, no gain, no problem, okay? Here's the key, Max. We still got to keep the pressure on him and work, okay? He's still doing a little crying over there, okay? You heard him with the right hand. Come on back with the hook and drop another right hand. Keep working to the body. Body to the head, step around to the right, okay? Body to the head, around to the right, okay? Jones is fighting at a very, very fast pace. And if McKinney can weather it, he believes that Jones has a stamina problem. But McKinney is getting hit with some right, heavy stuff. 
right there. A solid right, followed by a left, another right, back to up. Tom Box numbers showing that Junior Jones fired 100 oh, right, punches right, right. No in punches. the second round. Landed 36 of 64 power shots. So he's able to make his left hook and his right cross land against Kennedy McKinney, but McKinney's still there. And we'll watch Jones to see if he does exhibit the stamina problem that McKinney claims he has. The good thing about Junior Jones, he's been able to land some good body punches, although he was throwing a lot of reckless power punches in the earlier round. He still was able to jab to the body, which will have him some insurance if this fight goes beyond seven, eight rounds. A clean right cross Step by back. Jones, Step partially blocked by McKinney. No, 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 whoa, 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 Kennedy, come on. Come on, keep it clean, keep it clean. If you follow boxing, you're surely aware of the personal difficulties Kennedy McKinney has suffered in a checkered past marred by drug addiction. He says he's been clean for more than a year. He started a trucking business with his brother in Memphis, Tennessee, so he'll have something to bank on after boxing. Terrific young man. You gotta hope he's got his life straight. Now he's down for the first knockdown. And Junior Jones tattooed him with a right-left-right combination. You don't want to get into a really knuckle-down fist fight with Junior Jones. If you got a jab, use it. Come on. A hard right inside deck McKinney. Let's see how badly hurt he is if he is. Badly hurt enough that he's not firing back. His legs are very wobbly. Junior Jones trying to finish right here. Wild right uppercut missed. If it had landed, it would have put out the light. Jones going to the body also with that right hand. So, though he's missing, he's also insurance that he's going to last for a while. McKinney got in one right hand coming back, starting to throw, but still taking a lot of leather from Junior Jones. McKinney has been a champion. He's showing some championship stuff and trying to survive here. Pick out a pick a few shots like that and get out of this round to see how much resilience he's got with a minute's rest. He's shown a lot of courage to get this far. Does he have his legs back? Now, when you're a fighter, you've rocked the guy a few times. You don't want to get back and rest because you make him think you don't have any more. But Junior Jones should. Back away a little. Hard right. right. Get your win back. Both men landed right crosses, and both men wobbled at the knees. And this round is going to come to a close with McKinney still in the fight. Step back, step back, step back a little bit. Listen to me. You got to keep your hands up this round. Just move a little bit. Listen to me. Move a little bit. Mac, just move a little bit. Keep your hands up, okay? Up, I'm just Bye. Good. Listen to me. Take it down. Put your head over here. Thank you. Guys, Mac, listen up. Listen, Mac. Listen, I need, I need you boxing. Two or three jabs. Get him looking at you. Here. Kennedy McKinney may be the one who is starting a trucking company, but it was Junior Jones who hit like a truck in that round. Seconds out! As you can see, but George, it seems to me Jones has to learn to pace himself a little bit. He's just a little too reckless with his energy. He's fighting at a furious pace, and if McKinney can survive this next round or two, he can still be a danger. Now, you need your, your trainer now to kind of pace you a bit. Go back, reestablish the power left jab. Good Don't straight right, right hand from McKinney. Jones threw 105 punches in the third round after having thrown 100 in round two. So he is fighting at an extraordinarily fast pace. McKinney only threw 47 punches in the third round. He went nearly a minute without throwing any while Jones pounded him against the ropes. You throw a lot of punch, power punches like that, you almost need oxygen in your corner. Kennedy McKinney's trainer, no former Army and Olympic boxing boss Kenny Adams, 
in his 12th championship fight this year with fighters like Frankie Lyles and Vince Phillips in his stable. He's 11-0 in championship fights this year and says, I don't intend to lose one. Good overhand right by McKinney yeah. again. And Roy seemed to be wobbled by that overhand right. McKinney is an outstanding oh, right-hand right punch, no puncher. And he has shown it here in the third round, as he, or here in the fourth round, as he did at the end of the third when he wobbled Jones in the closing seconds of that round. Well, that was a weakness for Junior Jones. He seems to always look at his right hand, so he's open for counter right hand anytime also. Points his head in the wrong direction. Now Jones is coasting and slacking off on the pace a little bit in this round. Lands a left hook flush again. McKinney's going to have to put his right hand up to stop these left hooks that Junior is landing. Yeah, but he's landed some hard right hand. And he scores a knockdown. No, Wayne Kelly says no knockdown. No, no, no. Come on. He did land a right hand. Yeah, it could have been scored a knockdown. I think Junior is hurt. I think he's a little exhausted from all of the energy he's put out in the first few rounds. And he's trying to recoup some time here, but there's still a minute left in the round. It's not a shame for a boxer to move around and, and recapture. If you're in good shape, you can get a second win. That's nope. what Junior Jones should be doing now. Jones is around. very wobbly oh right now. God. If I were McKinney, I would try to remember to go to Junior's body. There hasn't been a lot of body punching in the bout, and you just have a vague sense that the first guy who goes after the other guy's rib cage might establish a beat head. Junior on the defensive now, and down he goes. Perfectly tied, right cross by Kennedy McKinney. Six, seven, eight. You feel all right, Kennedy? You want to continue, man? Junior Jones is now very Hold tired. on, hold on. That's it. Kennedy McKinney has scored the upset. Exactly what his trainer told him to do. Step and throw that right hand. Step over and throw that right hand. Some of the members of the crowd are throwing cups into the ring, apparently protesting the stoppage by Wayne Kelly, but Junior Jones was out. Yeah, the referee wanted to stop it, but he gave him the benefit of the doubt and let him continue, but when he fainted, he had no other choice. Kennedy, Mc Kennedy McKinney's scouting report was exactly right. Jones punched himself out. He survived the onslaught of the third round, hurt him badly with his vaunted right hand in the fourth round. And McKinney's trainer, Kenny Adams, finishes the year 12-0 and 0 in championship fights. What a comeback by McKinney, who was all but out of it in round three and comes back to win the fight. to work hard just to stay in life, much less in boxing. So he, more than most, can give you that advice, young people. You know, hard what pays off. That butt over underneath the eye had a lot to do with the outcome. How? Now, here's the first punch early in the round that hurt Junior Jones and left him wobbling on lost legs for the rest of the bout. You saw the right cross that landed flush right there that was ruled not a knockdown kelly ruled that a slip then as they both threw right hands mckinney's got there first and junior went down see there trading rights and mckinney quicker with his power that is what distinguished those guys tonight one both with power, but one with power and determination. Kennedy insisted to us yesterday. He said, if I hit him on the chin with the right hand, he is going to go down. But I think that butt under the left eye started Junior Jones desperately trying to get a quick knockout, and that probably changed the state of the whole boxing match. So you think that Junior, thrown off by the cut, 
threw too many punches in the second and third rounds and then didn't recover from that. He almost fainted in the earlier rounds just by mere throwing too many punches. 100 punches in the second round, 105 punches in the third by Junior Jones. Kennedy McKinney, almost out at one point, comes back to win it. 33rd victory for Kennedy McKinney. Let's go to Michael Buffer for the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, two of boxing's most courageous fighters met in the ring here tonight, and something had to give. It certainly did. At 2.39 of round number four, referee Wayne Kelly calls a halt to the bout. The winner by knockout victory and new WBO Junior Featherweight Champion of the World. Kennedy, he is me. What a victory for the young man who was behind on all three scorecards after three rounds, behind by four points on two of the three scorecards. But those scorecards, immaterial now, in the wake of the devastating display of right-hand power in round number four. And Larry Mercer is standing by with the winner. Congratulations, Kennedy. First, what was going through your mind in the third round? You're knocked down, you're tired, he's swarming you. Surprise. I never thought in a million years he would be able to knock me down. But he caught me with a good shot. But like I say, Barrera knocked me five down five, six times. But you saw, I kept getting up. I had resilience. My chin is okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I go down. But it's hard to hurt this young old man right here. The, the fact that you believe that he doesn't have stamina and that if you stayed with him, that does that help you to survive that round, knowing that if you survive, you'll have your shot? Yeah, because I saw him when he fought Darryl Pigney. And see, when he first started, when he fought Pigney, he, was, he started to hit Pigney, and he got relaxed. And he dropped his hands, and then Pigney came over and caught him. Same thing with me. When he knocked me down, I thought, I said, uh oh, he's going to relax now. I'm going to think he got me. And that's what he did. He relaxed. And he thought he had me. But hey, <laughs> just like Andy, was dope, boy. All right, thank you very no, much. No, no, no. Larry, yes. I'd like to say hi to my mom at home. My two kids that wasn't able to come here they're at the hotel now waiting on their daddy. Right. To Bevo Covington, right. to all the people in Big Bad California. Thank God for this one. I deserve this. I work hard. This is my fourth year, fight this year. I work very, very hard. Well, you're in the trucking business, and I have to say that tonight you wound up hitting like the bigger truck. Thank you. <laughs> Big Bell. All right, All right Jim. All right, Larry. It just goes to show you, George, that comparative matchups don't often mean everything in boxing. Marco Antonio Barrera knocked McKinney down five times in winning a great fight against him. Jones beat Barrera twice to assume supremacy in the division and then here comes Kennedy to beat Jones. It can all happen in boxing. You just never know what's going to happen. But we did see power by both men, so I expect a rematch sometime in the future. You had a sense early on, even while Jones was dominating with his right hand and his left hooks, that if McKinney could survive all that, he could come back with his own right hand. Yeah, and Junior Jones' corner, they didn't show him how to pace himself. They didn't tell him to move around, box a little bit, stop throwing those powerful punches. You don't need them right now. You've got a knockdown. And because of that, he was not able to recover. He got knocked down. He winded himself, and he was at the mercy of McKinney in the end. A night Junior Jones may regret for quite some time. Let's hear what he has to say about it with Larry Merchant. All right. Again, thank you, Jim. Junior... You had him knocked down in the third round. You seemed to be expending all of your energy in those rounds. Did you not pace yourself well enough? I got a little, a little um, anxious and careless. You got just careless? I am so anxious and careless. Did you get just too eager to, to put on a great show here in the garden Maybe. to qualify to fight for the Hamed or, or Kevin Kelly? Yeah, I think so. A little, a little bit. I, I, I probably did that. Were you aware that this man does have a reputation as an outstanding right-hand puncher and it's something you had to respect? Um, no, no, definitely, but, you know, I just made a little mistake and ultimately I came up, you know, with the wrong little mistake. Did the cut under your eye bother you even though it was under your eye and a lot of blood coming out of it? A little bit. No, not, not too much. It bothered me a little bit, but not enough to stop me from performing. Thank you, Junior. You came back once. Presumably, you can do it again. Yeah, definitely. That's I'll be back. No, no big deal. Jim, George. Just spit it right in there. Don't worry about it.
Keep your hands, be sharp, change your angle. Give him that, hey, hey, come on. And snap your punch. So you saw the copy.